The Brano has dual native base ISOs similar to the Venice FX9 and the FX30. This is like having two sets of circuitry on the back of the sensor with the physical switch changing between the two. One base is 800 and the other is 3200. Within each base there is a ladder of exposure indexes. There is a total of 16 stops of dynamic range that the camera has to offer. As you toggle between different EIs, you are shifting your latitude distribution and affecting how quickly you crush your shadows or how quickly you clip your highlights. There is crossover within the two indexes. This means it is possible to be at an 800 base but rate the camera at 3200. By doing this, you are evenly distributing your dynamic range where the highlight latitude is at 8 stops and your shadow latitude is at 8 stops. When in a 3200 base and scrolling down to 800, you are redistributing your latitude to 12 stops in the shadows and 4 stops in the highlights. To help you remember where you are distributing your latitude, there is a highlight latitude stop value next to your EI at the bottom of your screen. Any of these options are just tools for capturing your story. We recommend you test and explore what works for you. For any new Sony stands out there, SNQ stands for slow and quick, which is the same as under crank over crank, aka slow-mo. SonyCine.com has a great chart that shows which imager modes can achieve which frame rates, but essentially in full frame 8K mode, you can shoot as high as 30 frames per second. The 6K full frame cropped imager mode can go to 60 frames per second. 3.8K full frame can go as high as 120 frames per second, and 1.9K Super 35 can go as high as 240 frames per second. To switch into our SNQ mode, we can press our user button 3 that we assigned. To adjust the frame rate available within a particular imager mode, you can press the home button and in the top left select the FPS. Scroll to the desired frame rate. To go back to normal shooting, you must exit out of variable shooting by selecting fixed from the bottom corner. Or you can press your assigned user button. A common mistake I see is scrolling to 24 frames per second while in variable shooting and selecting OK. You are still in variable shooting and there will be no audio recording or timecode sync in this mode.